Hello everyone, I am Siddhant. Today the chapter number 26 of the module B of the principal documentation as the bank steals in only documents. So this chapter is very important as far as the banking is concerned. But why, what is the main purpose of the documentation? The main purpose of the documentation is the maintenance of record or for the evidence. Maintenance of record as specified or as directed by the Reserve Bank of India and evidence for the bank's protection. Next, the loan signing authority for any company. Who is the loan signing authority of any company? Let's say some company wants to take loans. Then he would have to be in agreement with the bank and someone has to sign on behalf of the company. Then who is that person? That is an authorized official as chosen by the board of directors from the company. You should know that this next the executed document outside india let's say one let's two person signed a stamp duty an agreement signed between the two person outside india in midst of the agreement they come to india and wanted to the document to be executed in india then or even if the documents are signed outside but they want to settle into in India then they have to first execute the document in India. So what is the time limit for that execution is the four months. They have to register it with the registrar of the assurance. What is the registrar of the assurance? The re registrar of the assurance is a government body or person who takes care or who wrote all the agreements or duties or any contract that is being signed between the persons is with this uh, registrar of the assurance so that there is a official uh, declarations or officials record of everything that's why the registrar of the assurance is being in existence now the minor signature is not valid in any documentation. Whatever the documentation you are doing, the minor cannot take or cannot sign in that contract because according to the major act or according to the contract act, minors, minors are not allowed to execute the documents. Execution of the documents is nothing but the signing of the documents and the legality. Next, the condition for the legal enforceable documents. Okay what all uh, what are the conditions for the legally enforceable documents that is renewable within limitation period a bc letter should be obtained the bc letter is the bank confirmation letter this point here in india anything or everything has its expiry so even if someone wants to sue someone they have some time period before that they have to sue that person or uh, take the legal course or can appeal to the court within a time period that is being specified already by the government so they the banks also have to comply that and this level within limitation period is nothing but the continuation of the rights that is being exercised by the bank to sue someone is being renewable within limitation period and the BC letter serves the same purpose that is bank confirmation letter here the bank acknowledges from the borrowers that he has taken loan and he has to pay this much this much amount and when he signed what with this sign what is the purpose of this BC letter is that we are increasing the limitation period limitation period means that we are increasing the chances of suing the person in future if he not repay the loans Okay, we will discuss first limitation, limitation things. Okay, the limitation periods is the enforcement of legal rights through a court. So, the bank gives loans. So, what if person doesn't want to pay the loans? What the bank will do? The bank can sue the person. The bank can recover the loan by suing the person in the court. That's why this limitation period comes into picture even in the banking scenario. Now, uh, there are some dates specified for the limitation period. The, these dates are mentioned here like a demand promissory note, 
थ्री इयर्स फ्रॉम द डिमांड प्रोमिशरी नोट इज डिमांडेड द लिमिटेशन पीरियड विथ एन एग्जाम्पल लेट से a demand promissory note you must have known that what promissory note is i already explained in the previous chapter as well the promissory note is just a demand from the person here in this chapter just uh, learn that so that you can continue with the videos just if demand promissory note is made let's say some one demanded from other person that uh, pay me uh, 5000 of rupees of what the goods you have taken from us so this is a demand loan now when is the limitation period now this person has demanded 5000 of rupees today now that the person to whom he demanded doesn't want to pay so before the end of this 3 years he can go to the court and appeal to the court that i have made the promissory note and he is not paying my money so with this proof or demand uh, or the demand letter and uh, recover my money as soon as possible so this 3 years is the time period the person has to sue the person and recover the amount if 3 years got extended let's say if 3 years got expired then there is no way to get the money from the person that's why the limitation period comes into picture similarly all the limitation period especially the limitation period is 3 years or 12 years but the important is that when it is starting that's very important they will ask in the examination okay the bill of exchange payable at site the limitation period is 3 years when bill presented here the demand when demand were done that's the starting point and up to 3 years they can sue the person and here uh, bill of exchange in the case of bill of exchange payable at site 3 years when bill presented at usance bill the 3 years from due date money payable for money lent 3 years from the loan was made this is for the demand loan and for the term, terms loan whenever the installment is not paid then the time will start by the of the limitation period the bank can sue with the date the installment was duck or the bank can sue the person guarantee 3 years from the date of invocation mortgage enforcement of payment of money this is 12 years from the date of the money and the mortgage foreclosure 12 years mortgage possession due to immovable property 30 years when mortgage becomes entitled to the possession now clean over draft is 3 years from the date of default this all things in the limitation period documentation for the partnership forms we need to sign from all the person we need to take sign from all the person in case of partnership forms lower court if some person is not convinced with the lower court order then he can appeal to the high court within 30 days this is important period of limitation of the usance will starting due date of the bill i already told you what usans and promissory bill is usans means in future date they promise to pay us some amount and when in future he doesn't pay so whenever the due date of the bill is lapsed then the period of limitation got started next the limitation act within which suit can be filed i already told you the limitation act is okay in any documentation the original language can be used until and unless the borrower to whom we are signing the documents he understand everything of that original languages then only it can be documentation can be done in original languages stamp purchased and executed in different state so one thing is that if the stamp bide at some places but executed in different state so that in that state amount or the stamp will be applied to that things and the difference the difference created let's say the amount required is the amount of stamp required is 1000 but the amount of stamp the person has given is 100 so the remaining 900 of rupees if the person pays to the collector of the stamp at the state so he can be allowed executions of the agreement or the any 
पेपर साइनिंग वट ऑल आर नॉट अंडर स्टाम्प एक्ट स्टाम्प एक्ट इज एटीन नाइनटी नाइन द गारंटी बॉन्ड एंड द मोटगीज डीड इज नॉट अंडर स्टाम्प एक्ट सो इट्स इट्स पॉसिबल दैट दीज टू थिंग्स कैन नॉट बी साइंड इन द विदाउट द स्टाम्प पेपर एज वेल स्टाम्प ड्यूटी सेम इन डिफरेंट स्टेट्स okay the stamp duty is same in different states uh, of which cases like the promissory notes bill of exchanges money receipts are the stamp duty is same throughout country stamp related clarity okay if some confusion is there between the states one states one other states the person come from different states and want to execute the documents of the states from which he came so what he can do he can ask the state stamp authority or controller of the stamp at that state to which the document is going to be executed permission of controller of stamp duty is required when there is a mismatch of amount in the of the stamp then the extra amount if the controller of the stamp duty controller of the stamp is agreed to take the extra amount and give the new stamp paper of the state then this can be done with the permission of the controller of the stamp now uh, acknowledgement of debt under stamp paper what does it what why we, we take it the acknowledgement why we take it we take it the acknowledgement of the bc letter is for only one purpose that we can extend the limitation period we can extend the time period of suing the person because banks are always looking for recovery of the money they don't want to put anyone under the scanner or the under the heat of court so they want money to be repaid by the person if there is a very worst case and person is not repaying at all and there is a very large amount then only he the bank goes to court next the roa registration required the roa registration is required in the mortgage deed the sale deed of an immovable movable property and the lease deed of greater than 1 year if the lease rent is greater than of 1 year or the rent you are giving of your home if it's it exceeds the 1 year then you have to register it with the registrar of the assurance the stamping means the stamping is nothing but a proof of legality it must be signed at the time or before of stamping the paper okay when you are uh, going to the stamp to uh, to put a stamp on the paper you first have to sign then the person who who can put a stamp on the stamp paper a notarized can be done stamp used for the documentation is the non judicial stamp we use the non judicial stamp for the documentation now rupees 1 stamp is applied in india up to 20000 of rupees the bc letter purpose of the acknowledgement i already told you the term loans period of installment due date of each installment okay and uh, when the limitation period of the term loans uh, started when whenever there is a duck or whenever there is a escape of any of the installment okay acknowledgement even for part of the debt full amount limitation period extended okay what does it mean let's say the loan the person has taken of 5 lakh rupees but even if we get partial amount let's say 500 or 1 lakh any amount we want to take and we get the sign of the person in the bc letter or so the acknowledgement letter then we can extend the limitation period for the another 3 years uh, after the signing of the bc letters next is check dishonored limitation period extended or not yes limitation period got extended even if the person paid the check at it got dishonored then also the limitation period ex extended now usance let's say one uh, we will take one numerical so that we could understand better then now the usance bill is of march 8 2019 and the usance bill received to the person on the march 16 2019 now the limitation period before which should can be filed 
as we know that three years from the due date because in the limitation period we have learned that what for the usance the usance will three years from the due date so three years from the due date what is the due date usance bill of march 8 2019 this is the due date so here from this date up to three years we can file the suit or we can uh, we have the right to appeal to the court against this person till march 8 2022 now the demand and the limitation demand loan limitation period is three years from the date of the documents documentation for demand loans and the cash credit loans both the date of the limitation starts from three years from the date of the documentation the limitation period extension there are two options so you can say three options for the limitation period extension one is the acknowledgement letter or the bc letter either partly or fully amount it it can be done next the fresh set of documents if we are able to get the fresh set of documents are or in that document uh, it must be mentioned that this much amount of loan is due to the is due to you and you have to pay this much amount of money in this much amount of time then it can be extended now limitation period for the saving bank deposit three years from the demand withdrawal okay see since this limitation period is for all and everyone in this country so if bank enjoys the uh, power of uh, suing someone then the customer can also sue you us on what ground when they demanded us the saving deposit amount but we are not able to pay the amount then they can sue us before the three year that is the same limitation period the three years from the demand or the withdrawal date on which they demanded the money okay that's it with this chapter what you need is the practice as much as possible from the question bank or uh, any internet sources that will be suffice thank you